In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can find the plan ID of a plan in Microsoft Planner. Let's go ahead and let's dive in. All right, now the first thing that you'll need to do is navigate to tasks.office.com. This is Microsoft Planner on the web. And then you want to navigate to the specific plan for which you are trying to identify the plan ID. Now I will go ahead and click on this plan that is titled Project Tasks. Now once in the plan, what you want to do is place your cursor in the address bar of your browser. And specifically what you're going to notice is at the very end of this address bar, there are going to be two unique identifiers for this plan. The first one is the group ID, and that identifies the group for which this plan was created in. And the second part is the plan ID value. Now to demonstrate that this plan ID is actually the unique identifier for this plan, what I'm going to do is I will copy and paste this and save it in Notepad, and then we're gonna go into Power Automate and actually plug in these values. If you're finding this video helpful, be sure to check out my other Microsoft Planner tutorials. I have an entire YouTube playlist dedicated to answering frequently asked questions about how to use Microsoft Planner. I've included a link to that playlist in the description below, or you can just go ahead and click that card in the upper right hand corner of your screen. All right, now you can see here that I've moved over into Microsoft Power Automate. Now what I've done to demonstrate that this is actually the plan ID value is I've created a workflow that I'll trigger manually to create a task in Planner. And you'll notice that in order to do that, I have to insert a group ID value as well as a plan ID value. Now you can see here in Notepad that I have extracted from the URL, the group ID value and the plan ID value. Now I'll go ahead and plug these into my workflow and then we'll test it again just to demonstrate that these are the correct values. Now you can see here that I've inserted both of those values and my workflow is not throwing an error. So now I'll go ahead and save this. And next I'll go ahead and test this. And you can see here that the workflow executed correctly. Now, again, just to demonstrate that these are the correct values, I will come back into my planner board and I will refresh this. And you can see here that this task was created. So our group ID and our plan ID value were correct. And we were able to use those in the context of a workflow. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can find the plan ID of a plan in Microsoft Planner. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.